Hi everyone, I am really excited for today's video as I am going to break down how you can use a personalized that means a clone chatbot based on your knowledge who can interact like you in front of your business customers or clients that you have. You can implement that on your web page and you don't need to implement any coding knowledge here as it's a no code tool. Using this you can also generate leads as well. As I said before, my only goal is to teach you all how you can use no-code tools in your professional life to deploy your products or any SaaS businesses. So let's start this breakdown. So this tool call is BotPress. You just need to search BotPress and click here and sign up and it will redirect you to this dashboard. And here you just need to create a new bot. Now click on open in studio. Well, uh, there are multiple uh, pre-made templates here. You can choose based on your necessary, but I am starting from scratch and hit use template. Well, this is your interface. Here there are multiple uh, options you can choose. I am not going to explain everything in WordPress because you will get everything on their YouTube channel that I will provide on my link. Hey, this one is their channel. So, so you will get all the logics builders here. Like if I click on add cart, you will get all the necessary in, uh, inputs from here. You can apply that and everything. I will recommend you to visit their channel and learn how you can implement or use WordPress and how it works and everything. I'm just showing how you can implement that on your website and uh, it can be Webflow or Framer or WordPress or your custom uh, website as well. So this one has for this one just it can search based on your queries like the questions our visitors or clients will ask them it will use web search that means it will use chat gpt open ai you don't need to uh, worry for that because it's completely free for now uh, for a limited user users like uh, for 1000 uh, queries it will be free but i think it's it's enough for you for now but if you are if you want to use that for your commercial users in upcoming future or for your clients you can purchase their premium uh, premium plan uh, that may cost you $20 but I think 1000 queries is far enough for your small businesses so I am not using a uh, web search for this one I just only use query knowledge based that means this one query knowledge based is means you can fetch like you can train this chatbot based on your information right you can insert your website url it will like um crawl all the information from your website and extract that and it will all it will be also be able, it will be able to answer based on uh, your website information and this one is document that means you just need to uh, upload your pdf or text file or doc file and it can also use that when they are going to answer any specific question uh, based on your training and this one is for tables like your excel sheets or your google sheets and this one is rich text that means you can add any text or any paragraph about anything to train this chatbot so it can answer based on that so this is such a simple way you can implement anything but if you want to add any advanced knowledge and everything this is also possible like you can also add a uh, custom logics here like how we want to enter how you want it to interact so you can make it more powerful than it is at this moment so there are much more uh, possibilities you can achieve using bot press so i will highly recommend you to use that but to set up this on our framer website or any webflow website or wordpress i am showing you like how you can uh, apply this on your website so just click on publish and on the left side you can see share option you just need to go to customize web chat here 
here you can see a share icon you will see a web chat general option here you can upload your image as a logo here and you can also dm your chatbot and description that will show here and all the things like you can disable the logo as well like this watermark and you can also input uh, you, you can also input your information contact information and everything and in order to uh, generation lead from here you need to follow some uh, basic method uh, let me show you so you just need to click on add workflow and on the notes you will see all the possible uh, options you, you will find here carousels text and everything but in order to input you will find raw input so using those you can also ask your customers or visitors or the person uh, uh, using this chatbot uh, you can ask them to input their email or name before start so that's how you can also generate leads from here and uh, for the uh, customization you can use that and for the theme uh, you can choose version 1 or 2 for the version 2 if you want to use a uh, custom based uh, chatbot interface theme you can also use that and for that i think i will recommend you to use that or the version 1 as well if you want to implement style here you just need to visit botpress style and this one you can change all the input and everything here and then just click on get style sheet url just copy that and paste um sorry and paste that uh here or if you want to use a uh, custom code and everything you can also do that just go to advanced style and copy those and paste that here okay and once you uh, stylize your chatbot you just need to uh, go on your shareable links that will appear here and you just need to copy those so let's set up this on our framer website so this is the component I have created you just need to copy that I will provide you that code on my description or comment section you just need to create a new component and name it uh, I'm naming it uh, chatbot and paste the code here and you just need to uh, update some you just need to update URLs here the URLs you generated from your share option so you just need to copy this till dot JS and paste that here the first one and the second one will be this one you just need to copy that or if you can't see the rest of the code or if you can't see the rest of the URL you can copy that and paste here we need that and just copy from here and paste that okay and after you successfully pasted all the links you just need to delete that pasted one and hit save you just need to uh, drag and drop that on your first hero section and make it absolute and that's it you will find that appear here okay so that's how you can implement that on your framer website this is also similar for the rest of the uh, website builder platform like webflow or wordpress anywhere but if you are using premium plan you can also implement that here end of the body tag so that's also possible so that's it is and if you still face any issues let me know i will do my best to assist so have a good time. Bye.